Hello again! So today's video is another unboxing of another Sheik's Arrow. I decided to see how the second chance worked out for me and I went with a pocket deluxe. I'm pretty nervous. Oh how cute, it's the new Lewis and Clark tribal things. My notes asked for a earthy tone or you know green because green is my favorite so we shall see what she decided to get me. It is, and I also asked for a smooth leather, which this is. So I'm hoping it's a Austin or Tea House. Let's see. <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's a Colonel Brandon. It's a little bit different in terms of color, but I'm so happy because <laughs> I really love the color of this one. So I'm really happy that they went and gave me a Colonel Brandon um, Pocket Deluxe. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> so I was really nervous. Okay, so it's beautiful. Um, I'm trying to see, I guess it's got some like wrinklies here and it has like a weird mark right here, which I guess, like I know Second Chance is supposed to be something that is like, it has more imperfections I guess I mean I, I'm not really sure there's a nick right here and it's got some like markings here it looks like it's like scratches right here um, like on the leather but it's still so smooth like it doesn't feel like a scratch oh my god it's perfect I'm so <laughs> you have no idea how nervous I was the nice thing about these second chances is that you can you know you spend less and then you may get like something that you wouldn't necessarily pick out right away or um, maybe it's holding you back because it's a little bit more expensive um, and I think correct me if I'm wrong but the pocket Colonel Brandon deluxe is like 80 or 90 dollars I need to check again um, and this was 52 the travelers a travelers notebook in the pocket size and it is so pretty oh my goodness half of me wishes that I got the TN in, in the a6 as well because I really want pockets now but I really love this folio like I really love it but something just urged me to do this and I'm so <laughs> excited that I did so I don't see it saying Colonel Brandon, but I mean, I know it is because it looks like a Colonel Brandon, um, unless that's what this means here. I was so worried, so I didn't buy any full inserts for this one yet. So now I will buy inserts for it. I think I probably won't use it until after this insert is gone because I may end up wanting to use this size as a daily journal. My folio A6 could be my new book journal. And then this could be my daily journal or vice versa. I think it just depends on which side size I prefer journaling in. Um, I do have a hard um, pocket moleskin, but I don't like the paper in this. Like I think you can also use it as a folio, but I intend to have at least two inserts in here. Um, I kind of want a hard back. Oh wow, that looks nice. I want a hard cover and um, some field notes. I don't even know how people put the hard covers in here, to tell you the truth. Do they just put it in the back? I mean, these, these elastics are pretty thick. Oh, that is pretty, pretty, um, maybe I'll put it in the middle. It's pretty secure though. Oh my God, I'm just so happy. I know I wasn't like my voice wasn't as excited sounding when I opened up my folio but I was really in love like I really love the folio like I, I, I know it didn't like, come off across as like that excited um, but like I said I'm really excited I was really excited about the folio and now I'm just even more excited because I really love this Colonel Brandon leather I'm sorry I'm struggling with trying to figure out how to string this um, in my new notebook which I hope to buy some new inserts for no that's not gonna work either I'll figure it out but I love it oh my god I you have no idea how much I love it and it comes with four elastics do you see that interesting oh this is crisscrossed I wonder if that's on purpose 
and I've seen people put stuff in the front too and then they use it as a folio like oh, that's a really cute fit this one's a little bit more brown tint to it but it's still an olive i have seen a lighter variation so that would have also been nice um but i'm so happy with both of these colors like i'm and i love how stiff the leather is and i haven't shown you exactly what i've been doing with like how this one looks so far and i'm not I mentioned the Lamy insert, the Lamy A6 insert, and I'm not a fan of it really, um, at least not in my cover. So I'm really looking forward to getting an Astalogy A6 or um, using that Hobonichi blank one. But like I said, this is really thin, um, but you know, that's, that's okay. I can get a second one or, or something like that, but I still love the paper of the Hobonichi. So I'm really looking forward to getting Astology because I'm not, I'm not a fan of this, but you know, I bought it and I wanted to use it. And so I have been using it as my journal. So, I mean, it's still relatively nice paper. Like, I don't know. I think it's just that cover itself, like the hard, like the fact that it's a hard cover. I don't like it in here, um, but I wanted to test it out because I hadn't seen it you know, in places and I wanted to test it out. So I just know that I'm not going to be getting it again, at least for my, you know, folio cover. I plan to get a different, um, A6 notebook. And again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm still kind of debating if I want to use this as my daily journal now, or if I want to use this size as my daily journal, because this is so cute. Now the pen loop, it looks pretty big, but I don't have like, I don't think I have a pen that's gonna really fully, f well, it fits. Like, see how it sticks out? It just, it's kind of awkward and I don't feel comfortable putting my fountain pens in, but you know, I may get like something else to fit in here. I just don't know what. So yeah, I think my fountain pens are just too fat. <laughs> I still like the way the, the pen loop looks. I just don't think it's meant for the pens I have. I just don't think I have anything thin enough for it. And this one definitely no. That's the only thing is that's wrong with some pens. Okay, so this pen's not this pen's okay. But it still feels so like snug. But I mean like that'll tell you like it'll keep your pen safe, you know. Maybe it just needs to be um stretched out a little bit. I mean it looks pretty. I just don't know if I feel safe carrying my pen like that. And I think I'm gonna change out this elastic because this elastic is way too thick on the outside. I don't mind it in here. We'll see. I just need to get some cute inserts for it. And by cute inserts, I just mean I'm gonna get some um, field notes and another, we'll see how this, I just don't like the way this paper is. I was gonna get a um, 1917 Luchstrom, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it correctly. Um, notebook to put in here. Um, and then we'll see which size I prefer to have as a daily journal and which one will be a, um, did I just do this or was it like that already? <laughs> oh, well, but um, I love it. I'm super happy with this. I know that there's a chance like they won't be able to do like all of your requests. This time they were able to get me a smooth green leather. Um, but I know that they don't always, that's not always possible. But yeah, I'm gonna get a 1917 notebook to put in there and some field notes notebooks and then we'll see which one I prefer as a daily journal and which one can be my book track, like tracking all my books and stuff like that. I really understand now why people love these because they're just so well made and she's coming out with new colors and it's just, it's fun. That's what it is. It's fun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop touching this now. That's all I really wanted to share with you today. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. And I'll make sure to update you on which one is, which journal or which notebook becomes what. Again, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.